Phases of Bacterial Growth with Scientist Cindy. When we analyze bacterial growth, it is convenient to create a graph of the number of bacterial cells in our culture versus time. This type of graph is called a growth curve. Here is just an example of one possible growth curve. Keep in mind that the time in which all of these phases will be experienced will vary depending on the amount of available space and available nutrition and the type of bacteria we are growing in the cell culture. All bacteria growth curves grown in cell culture in the laboratory exhibit the same four following phases. The lag phase, the log phase or exponential phase, the stationary phase, and the death phase. The lag phase of the growth curve is when we have no active growth, so the population of cells remains the same during the lag phase. This is because the bacteria are adjusting to the new environment. The cells will not undergo binary fission until they have adapted to their new habitat. Once they have adapted, we will experience the log phase or exponential phase of bacterial growth. Here, there is plenty of nutrients and plenty of space for growth to occur. This exponential growth or logarithmic growth will eventually level off. This leveling off is due to the population of bacteria beginning to run out of available space and available nutrients. Also, the cells will experience a continued buildup of toxins. Due to these factors, the log or exponential phase will give way to the stationary phase. In the stationary phase, we see that there is no real change in the number of bacteria in the cell culture. In the stationary phase, the number of bacteria cells in our cell culture remain fairly constant due to the fact that the number of cells being created will roughly be equal to the number of cells dying in our cell culture. After some time, the depletion of nutrition and space, along with the buildup of toxins in our cell culture, will cause more cells to be dying than cells that are being produced. This gives us our death phase of the bacterial growth curve. After some time in these conditions, we will eventually see that all of our cells in the cell culture will die.